This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. This video is sponsored by Adjuster Pro. Use code Adjuster TV at checkout and get licensed right now at adjustertv.com slash licensing. It's in-person training better than online only adjuster training. The answer to this question I think is, is a little bit um, less, a little bit more complicated than just a yes or no. Um, and by that I mean for in-person training, the benefits that you're gonna get are certainly to, and, and I took in-person training when I first got started as an adjuster at Vail. It used to be called Vail National. It's now called Vail Training Solutions. I think Sedgwick owns it. Anyway, I did their three-week program um, and they taught um, a lot of Xactimate, right? We were in Xactimate every single day. Uh, we learned a lot of construction and we learned scoping. We didn't really learn any policy. Um, we definitely didn't learn any customer service and we absolutely didn't learn any uh, time management, right? Um, other than, and it's like, I think it literally every training I've ever been in as an adjuster, which is multiples, they would say things like, and you know, the most important things you gotta know is you gotta be, you have to have really good time management, you gotta be really, really organized. All right, well, let's talk about Windows now. And off they would go, they wouldn't even explain how to do time management and how to be organized, they just would say that, and then you're like, okay, well, how do I, how do, I do that, right? Um, most in-person training that I know of has a focus on scoping and construction and Xactimate, which I think are, all three of those things are absolutely important. You're gonna have access to a human being. You're gonna be able to talk about things with, with other people in the class, right? There's, there's absolutely benefits to it. Um, online, um, I think because the nature of, of a lot of online training, and I'm gonna speak about mine in particular, um, because I think I've, I've built it to sort of like, um, fill in the gaps that I think the in-person training doesn't doesn't hit, and to really sort of emphasize those things that um, make the difference between an adjuster doing well on their first CAT deployment or their first storm deployment or their first claims assignments, and then or washing out, right? Which you don't often get in a limited amount of time where a lot of people are asking questions, they may get behind, they may skip things, right? If you're gonna do online training, especially self-paced, then you can cover a lot more of this stuff, right? I can cover a lot more of this stuff as a trainer um, with the self-paced online program, where I can say, hey, I'm gonna demonstrate to you all the different kinds of com phone conversations that you're gonna have to have with a, with a homeowner, with a property owner, with a contractor, et cetera, right? I can show you what a, f a file reviewer does in gory detail, right? So that you have an understanding of how that works and what they see when they see your file come in across their desk, right? Um, I can show you um, policy things, and you can take these things at your own pace. We, I can show you how to hand draw, you know, roof diagrams and all that kind of stuff. And you can pause, rewind. You know, you, maybe you skimmed it the first time, and then four weeks later, you're like, "Oh man, I really need no, to know this." And you can just jump back in and look at it, right? And it's not, it's not going to be something that you pull out of your memory banks, or that was on something that maybe you took good notes on, or maybe you didn't take good notes on. So is uh, in-person training better? I would say no, I think it's different. Um, I would, personally, I would tell you if you have the opportunity to take my training um, Adjuster TV, at Adjuster TV Plus or at adjustertv.com slash certify, if you have an opportunity to take that training and also get in-person training where then kind of, you can have that like group experience in person live with, with other human beings where you're looking at the wall and it's got a, the, the wall's open and it's got little like Xactimate tags on it, right? Where it says stud and it's like FRM, you know, whatever. Um, to have that experience with that and to sort of take the knowledge that you learn in my training and, and, and show up with it to an in-person training, I think you're gonna be a lot farther ahead and you're gonna be able to get a lot more out of an in-person training already having the foundations of the, the overall claims process and seeing all that stuff uh, in the comfort of your home. You don't have to travel. Um, you have to pay for hotels and you can start and stop anytime you want to. You can go back and rewatch things. You can skip stuff if you're like, I already know all that. You know, Absolutely, you can skip it. Come back to it later if you need to. Um, so 
I think they're complementary. Um, but if I was gonna start anywhere as an adjuster, um, I would personally start with online training. If you wanna watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.